Hello Internet and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be inspecting Crystal Palace squads, finances and overall setup. If this is your first time here you might want to hit the subscribe button you bang up to date with all my FM related content going forward. Now I'm sure you've probably seen one or two of the other videos and you got the gag about me flashing some guy's face but realistically this is what I look like. If you don't believe me just stick around I'll give you much more, more reason to subscribe. Uh, as in other contents, I do show my face, just not these ones, because I'm pulling all nighter and I don't look the greatest. But anyway, enough jibber jabber, shove them straight in with the start of the vid. That's right, folks, back once again with another squad overview in the new, brand new, squeaky clean FM 18. Bit of a Bit of a troublesome start to the season for Crystal Palace. De Boer gone. Hodgson coming in. And now these gone. And I've come in and try to take over the reins here. Um, but yeah, let's take a quick quick sneak peek at uh, what Crystal Palace have got in the locker. Uh, so first and foremost, hit the home screen. Let's check out their pre-season. They are off to... Looks like Portugal. I believe. I have no idea where that is. Famagaciao. They're going to be taking on them. And Lujavajvols. Which um, are a team in Holland. I was right. So they're, they're going to go to Holland for a pre-season uh, tour. Uh, FC20 also visiting. And Red Star also going to come to Selhurst Park for a match. Okay. I know what you're really here for. Let's take a look at your financial clout. Not that, not that much money, it doesn't look like. Uh, so far, the lowest budget I've seen of eight million in the Premier League. You can tweak it somewhat. In fact, no, you can't. You are maxed out at eight mil. You could probably reduce your budget to increase your wages. Currently, your wages are set at 1.4 million pounds. Does look like um, the Palace board are. Uh, Trying to clamp down on, on a little overexpending that might have happened um, over the past few years. So let's take a look at your under 18 squad for the moment. Uh, just getting into a bit more clean appearance here. Uh, nothing to write home about. Very British. Very British um, squad here. Bar this fella, Ibrahim Cargo. Young 17 year old striker, target man. Not the greatest stats. Not sure if he's going to make the grade. He's from Sierra Leone. Um, who's your most valuable youngster? Brandon Oddy. Welsh striker. Could he be one of the future forwards for Wales? Time will only know. Who's the tallest? Tallest player in there? Courtney Watson. Six foot four. He's a gigantor. Uh, you can play anywhere across midfield. Um, again, not the greatest statistics. Moving into the under-23s, a quick sneak peek of those. Get them in a bit clearer order. Compared to some of the squads out there, this does seem to be a lot smaller. Uh, any standouts in there? Not really. Maybe this fella right here, Suali Kalakai. 3.8 million, 21 years old. He is English, so possible. Look at them stats for that player. Not bad, not bad youngster. Um, could be, could be worth a punt for maybe a championship side. Take on loan. Um, if I was at my Rovers, if I was managing Rovers, I'd be sniffing around see if I could take this kid on loan. Looks pretty decent. In fact. Jordan Much is in the is in the reserves for one reason or another. Johnny Williams, he's also out on loan. Where's he out on loan? Sunderland. He's a decent player, Johnny Williams. Uh, Jason Enyanga Lukukuyo, another youngster, 18 years old, 450,000. Again, he can play in multiple positions. He's wanted by a few uh, teams on loan. Um, uh, possibly uh, something to consider should you decide to take over Giovanni McGregor now that's a quality name um, young 
midfielder. But anyway, let's take a look at the meat of the action. The squads, main squad. You've got Christian Benteke. Can he keep you in the Premier League? Julian Spatoni, getting on a bit, 38 years old. Um, pretty, to be honest with you, it does look like a championship squad. Bar, Benteke, Townsend, you know. Scott Dan, ex-Rover. Um, like to see him get an English cap, but don't think it's going to happen. Uh, who's your most valuable player? Benteke, obviously 28. Uh, Mohamedou Sako, 26 million. Wilfred Saha, yeah, okay, there. these three are decent players. Luka Mezalovic, not too sure about that guy. Obviously butchered his name, so apologies there. Let's take a look at some of the contracts, situations that do need to be addressed. Should you pluck up the courage to take on this side. James MacArthur. I don't think he's don't think he's had the favourable start this season, James MacArthur. In the real world, Leicester sniffing around. His contract is up at the end of the season. Bakary Sacco's up for the end of the season. Joel Ward rated at eleven point two five million. That is just bonkers. Funny money these days. Just a to me, okay, I don't really watch these guys for every week, but is he really 11.25 million? Really? Yeah, not sure about that. So, Lee Chung Yong, another guy. Mm, has he really made the grade? Uh, not really. I, I, I see him going. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much a quick glance at your squad. So let's take a look further in there, the board. Uh, quick glance over that. Competitions. Okay, this is what they want to, this is the, what they're expecting off of you. So big challenges afoot. If you want to take over Crystal Palace, they want you to be mid-table. Tall order. Reach fifth round of the FA Cup. Doable. Reach fourth round of the Cabrera Cup. I'm going to call that the League Cup from now on because it's a stupid name and I can't... Uh, I can never get my, 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 my tongue around it. Uh, let's have a quick look at the team report as in other videos. You might want to take a pause, uh, pause the video and have a read of that um, because there's a lot of text and for me to read that to you, you know, it's gonna, gonna bore you to tears. Squad depth. Okay, right back looks a, looks a bit dubious. Again, Joel Ward. He seems to have knocking on four stars. Martin Kelly. Just having a quick sneak peek of that guy. Um, goalkeepers, not really your strongest area. That's something you might want to look at uh, spending your cash on. Obviously, a couple of these players are on loan from Manchester United and Chelsea. So, Jeffrey Schlupp as a striker. Mm. Uh, moving forward, let's get a look at the dynamics here. Atmosphere is pretty decent. The other two, not so great. Your captains or your potential captains, James Punchin. Um, I think he is the real deal uh, in the real world. I think he is your skipper. Julian Speroni, Wilfred Saha. Saha obviously had a taste of the high life with uh, United, but didn't really didn't really um, lead to much. So he's he's got the knowledge and the know-how, uh, and he could lead this group should you decide to rock the boat and give him the armband. Anyway, let's have a look at some of the core social group. These are the bunch of the players you could consider as future mentors. Um, not sure why Punchin's not in there. Maybe he doesn't have the the pedigree or the or the the shimmer of some of these other players. Well again, there's a bunch of has-beens and deadbeats in there, so I don't know why he's not in there. Uh, happiness, overall happiness of the squad at the moment seems pretty, pretty on par. So nothing too, too concerning. Um, should you decide to take these guys on board, but uh, that is pretty much it. All I have for you right now. If there's something I've missed, please leave a comment in the section below. I plan to do each and every Premier League team over the next few days however if there's a team out there maybe it's one of these guys maybe it's fc20 or anything like that if you want me to do a, an overview just feel free put your your comment in the description below and i could do it for you 
Um, they only take a few minutes. Uh, also, moving forward, once the craziness of the beta and the actual FM18 release calms down, I do plan to do some game saves and some streaming on Twitch. Uh, but those those elements are yet to be fine-tuned. But uh, please stick around. Uh, I've got some cracking storylines in the pipeline uh, that will entertain the socks off of you. But until next time, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not. Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.